So how do I sound? You sound great. You sound really nice. Okay, um, nice. Sound like you sound like you sound like you're from the East Coast, which I like. Oh, already you can hear that? Yeah, I can tell immediately. That's amazing. You're you're uh, you're a genius in so many ways. Okay, so no, no, that's that's yeah. the only thing. That's, that's the, the only, only thing. The only oh my God! First that. off, okay, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. We're talking with All Colin right. Thompson. Colin Thompson is the writer director and starring in a film that, well, I'm just going to say it, I have totally fallen in love with. It's called It's Us. Now, there was a previous film, Loser's Crown, which I managed to watch. I think I've seen the oeuvre now. Oh, you did? Yeah, you did a, you did a whole retrospective? I did the whole thing. I, I don't know Ooh, that I can spell oeuvre, but yeah, yeah. I can't. I definitely can't. I can't even say it. I won't even try to say it. Don't even um, try. It's Us is available on iTunes and Amazon and Netflix and like a whole host of ways that you can watch it. Yes. So I must admit I had a little freeze-on of anxiety about talking to you. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear it. This is, I like this. Go ahead. I like this. Okay, good. It's that there's an intelligence that comes through in your films, and I'll talk today mostly about It's Us, that is is a bit intimidating to me, to be honest with you. Um, is can I just talk? Is this a, is this a prank interview? No. Is this, are you, is this, like, is this what is going? On? What's going on? I'm sweating. Um, it's funny. No. I mean, it's good. It's a good bit. I'm glad. It's really. I'll I'll find time to laugh about it later. But let's just, you can come out and just say it. Okay, so there's an intelligence <laughs> coming through. I'll just, I'm just going to say it again, but there's another part to it, part two. Part okay, two is that the characters in, well, let's say the main guy in It's Us, and we'll get into, like, you know, who he is and what's going on in the plot so that we can interest people enough to see the film, um, sure. is pretty discerning, if you might say. Like, he doesn't suffer fools gladly. So there is a right. feeling I have, like I want to be very smart and funny. You, 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 you have a feeling, you have a feeling that you, you want to be when talking to. Yeah, talking to you because you, you wow. wrote this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that, it's true. Um, it's true. Thank you for saying that. That's it's. Um, I, I know I'm completely uncomfortable. Uh, no, I love it. It's that's a uh, very nice thing. I'm getting better. I'll take the couple down and say thank you for saying that. Good for you, because you know what? Okay. I mean, you know. It's, I, I, I can get really squirrely, but I'm just going to say thank you, and I'm not going to stop, stop drinking coffee right now. Okay. Um, okay. But, so so my work here is done. I've made you completely yeah, uncomfortable. Done. So <laughs> the thing is... I'm always uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, that makes two of us. According to a very hilarious blog post that I just saw... This movie came out of a rather dark period. Can, can you talk about that? It, I think the whole thing started um, as I was kind of having a, a 30-year-old moment of um, nothing good has happened. I mean, not, not, I don't want to say nothing good has happened, but <clears throat> nothing. things haven't really turned out how I thought they would when I moved to L.A. Like, I didn't... Um, I didn't, I didn't sold anything. Uh, I was scared to ask people to read things. And people don't like reading, period. Because, and I'm not saying mine are, are good or fun to read, it, but it's in scripts. There are so many bad scripts in this town mm -hmm. that I think it's a very, there's, if you come, if you go to someone, whether it's an agent or a, or a manager or just a, a <coughs> fellow writer, it's, there's a very eye rolly reaction when somebody said, can you read my script? They say, you know, in this town, um, obviously. Uh, so I was, I turned 30 and I'm, and I was trying to, and I was, and I was just kind of giving myself no option. I was like, you know, remember when we moved here, when we were 26, we said, if nothing good happens by the time we're 30, we should get a big boy job. <laughs> um, one that provides like maybe some health care or, you know, or, or, or a paycheck. Um, and so that's kind of when I, I, I just freaked out, wrote a movie that, that I completely like every, everything was, uh, within means to, to shoot. Uh, and luckily I got kicked out of my apartment 
in Venice, and they gave me in the city of California. I mean, the city of California, the city of Los Angeles gave me ten ten thousand dollars for the relocation fee because the building got bought. Yada yada yada. So I, we had that, and it was um, let's go make a movie, and if it's embarrassing and I don't want to show anyone, then we'll go try to get a job in. I like to say sports marketing. I like sports, um, and. And then it's so, so it, I mean, it, it, it was, it was just a, before I wrote it, it was, uh, I was pretty bummed out about the whole thing, about where everything was going. And not to say I'm not, that I'm not right now. I'm super bummed out, but I sound happy, right? No, um, not really. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to put on my happy voice. Well, but then I am um, a trained professional, so I, I, I okay. think it, it's no one else would know. Right. Okay. Great. Um, my mom might. She won't. There I'll you go. There yeah. you go. Um, but so it was. It was just a freak out. Um, it was. A, it was. A, it was a couple of years of nothing happening, then one big freak out, and we went to Vermont and made a movie, and then that. Then it's us happened so quickly after that that I didn't have any time to get really uh, to get bummed out about anything. Um, so I mm-hmm. so so, mm-hmm. so I looked back to the, the the previous years of being bummed out and drew, and drew from that. Uh, As uh, you said somewhere in an interview that you didn't really you, you don't mind that people might be made uncomfortable by these films. Right. You know, that that's not your point. This is what really grabbed me about it, even from seeing the trailer for It's Us, was that there was, um, I'm, I'm so sick of all the rom-coms that don't mm-hmm. really give you a sense of a real relationship. Like, all there seems to be is intense sexual chemistry in all these movies, but like, what do the people actually talk about? So from the very beginning of It's Us, for those of you that will listen to my uh, my urging and, and see the film, the, the two main characters have left a party and uh, they're having a fight in a car. Uh, right. The fight leads to actual physical altercation and then that ultimately goes into them leaving L.A. to go to Vermont. And this is just a condensation. But the characters, the, the dysfunction they <laughs> evidence is very real seeming. It just seemed very familiar to me, very believable about a relationship. And as you said about, you know, wanting to put on your big boy pants, I you had me at when the guy says he calls his 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 wife dude. You know, that that's <laughs> no, come on, that said volumes. That that he right. called her dude and that he said things like, This is super chill. I mean, <laughs> right there, right there, it was amazing. So you're you're not just good at portraying the job and we st- on we stuff like in Losers Crown, but also it says, but the nuances of a rare, uh, which is rare, of a real relationship. And I think relationships often have, I'm saying a lot here, but a kind of giddy sadomasochistic melody running through them. Would would you right. agree with that? Um, absolutely. Well, that was my my thing. Like, and when I have to fill out, like for up for iTunes, it, you have to put you have to click on the genre. Or I mean, I think the distribution company did that. But there's places where you have to click on genre where uh, it's like comedy drama. I'm like every time I'm like romantic comedy. This is the romantic comedy. This is what I wanted. <laughs> this is what I want a romantic comedy to be. Like, yeah, according to Kafka. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, and so I, and I, I was just like, like you, like you were too, I kind of tired of not seeing those <clears throat> moments that you don't, that you're not really proud of, um, when you're in a relationship, not seeing that on screen because you just never like just saying, just going, getting like super like schoolyard defensive and, and saying just awful things that come out of your mouth and you're like, how Am I an adult person and saying that to to another to a person that I supposedly love? You know, and that's I think that's uh, it's it, it it is embarrassing, but it's also it, it can be pretty funny, like how um, you can become a person that you just are just are so embarrassed well, by. Exactly, and and it's hilarious. I mean, it's dark. Yeah. 
But it, there's a lot of scenes in It's Us that are hilarious. And, and all the little tiny things where he'll say, you know, oh, no, not that face. You know, that we can relate to that. And I think you have to know how to manage that sadomasochistic thing. And maybe that's what marriage is, is just managing the trope that two people create that's really very complex. Right. It's very complex. Right. So these two characters, uh, do, mm-hmm. do interviewers often ask you whether this guy is you? Um, I think not. I haven't really done too many interviews, but um, Mitch didn't. I think, I think people do. Like after, if we, when we screen and we're doing like a Q and A, there's people asking me questions, and they're and they don't um, separate me from from the the dude on the screen, and it's and which is it's really nice to have my buddy um, who produced and and shot uh, Luther's Crown with me, and then he helped produce um, It's Us, my buddy Miles. It's it's great to have him at uh, the Q&As, because he can always, he steps in, and he's like, listen, listen, let, let, let's just get one thing straight. This, this is not, like, that's the character he's playing. So this is not, instead of me having to explain it, he does a good job um, discerning that. But, mm. uh, but yeah, people people do um make just assume that that dude is me and it's not i think it, but i think whenever i can't completely create a character so i think i take uh certain things and certain and i and that's what i with this one it was you take a couple of things that you're not proud of and just and just put it under a and just magnify it and make a character of it something that's kind of familiar and then um you know Try to make it funny, try to make it sad, because the two, uh, for me, go hand in hand. Well, I think that character, uh, whose name is Andrew in It's Us, is a bit more like the way female characters are typically portrayed in film. He's dramatic, right. he's grandiose, he's kind of hysterical in a way. <laughs> yeah. And I just saw that as more like, wow, it's good to see a, a dude, if you will, portrayed yeah. that way for a change. Totally, and she's kind of more, she's the more grounded one. Um, absolutely, I think there is, a, the, you know, just the insecurity and the neurotic things that's... Um, well, he's high that, maintenance. That, that we all, he's, yeah, he's... he's, he's <laughs> He's that very, part is totally me. <laughs> is that right? Okay. Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, no? I hope not. Um, really? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't talked to anyone in like two weeks, so I don't think that's. I'm just kidding. Have you been? Okay. <laughs> you know, you're joining a kind of impressive pantheon of like other writer, director, actors, like John Cassavetes, Woody Allen. You know that that's quite a thing to do those three roles. Yeah. Um, no, I just I got paranoid that it was a prank. Uh, again, you went. You got the prank but, feeling again. Yeah, but you got that. that mm, yeah, that okay. wave of, of, of that wave. Is uh, it like a sweaty, tingly shame. feeling? Or... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you go to the shame um, place. Okay. <laughs> shame waves. Uh, mm-hmm. Shame waves. I just. Oh, yeah, shame I'm, waves. I'm writing, yeah, I'm writing a shame wave. Mm-hmm. Um, I call but, it a um, shame spiral. Yeah, that one's not fun. Uh, so I think I, I, acting was never part uh, supposed to be. Acting was never part of the plan. It was hmm. when with Loser's Crown, uh, we had done a couple of short films just to just to just do something. Um, and then we did Loser's Crown. And a friend of mine, the guy who is in um, who is in uh, It's Us, that who plays the, the I mean, he plays the other guy, Jay Hayden. He plays that. He's the he's the guy with the really nice hair. Um, he's Wait, the neighbor? Actor, he's the, Nelson? Yeah, the neighbor? The neighbor? Yeah, the neighbor. The neighbor, Nelson. Exactly. Nelson. Um, Jay and I were talking before we went to do Loser's Crown, and I was, um, and he said, "You're you're playing this role." He's like, "There's no." He's like, "Nobody you're gonna find anybody oh. who can say these things better than you." And I was like, and he kind of coached me, and we poured over the script and just talked about. I mean, he kind of just coached me. Uh, didn't did a but did a uh, crash test or was that a crash crash course? Um, of some acting stuff and he was uh he made me feel like i could do it so i kind of and then we kind of gave myself no choice we couldn't pay anybody to do it and 
he was right. I was. I would have been too. Um, you have one of my favorite comic uh, authors and performers, Annabelle Gerwich, has a role oh, in I, It's Us. So great, yeah. so great. She's uh, the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's, she's, uh, um, She's so good. So both these films have uh, the the plot of a a guy who's presumably successful in L.A. who goes Mm -hmm. back to his hometown of Vermont. So your your father does live in Vermont, yeah? My father does live in Vermont. Mm -hmm. And he's in Loser's Crown. That is my father in Loser's Crown. Um, So the two the but for it's us it was um, her she was from Vermont. (laughs) <laughs> um, there, so I want to give a little bit more texture for people to urge them to see the film because when they uh, leave LA because she says you know mm-hmm. I've had it we're fighting all the time we're going down the tubes I'm almost thinking about d- 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 you know the D word divorce and they do go right. he's not really the main character Andrew is not really eager to go and it's what you might expect. You know, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no cell service. Yeah. And then there's a very key moment in the film that I, I think is key where he's like, well, what are we going to do? You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I've had this experience when I've gone away to places like New Hampshire and there's like the TV isn't working and I feel like I'm going to die. It's, it's pathetic. Right. It's absolutely pathetic. So um, she says to her husband, we can talk. And right. what follows is an amazing extended scene of them trying to get to know each other. Mm-hmm. That's extremely well done. That seems like oh, it, it took some phenomenal um, editing assistance there. Yeah, it was editing, and, and Paul held the guy who uh, who shot the um, who shot the, who was director of photography in the movie. He did a great job of setting up those. Because I explained something to him, like when we were going over how I wanted things to look, and I was like, well, I want the thing to arc back and forth here and, like, trying to, and he is, and I probably sound so stupid in, you know, um, film terms or, you know, because he's a, he's a Hunter uh, college guy in New York and he studied all, all that stuff. And I just explained how I wanted to look and he just, he, he made it happen. Um, so, in, and then in editing, yeah, I like the... Uh, so that's, that, that's I that. think, a particularly successful sequence. Um, and then, of course, we're introduced to Nelson, a real Vermont guy, the neighbor with the dog. Can we talk about the dog? Little Jerry Seinfeld? I mean, Little Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, yeah. Yeah, little Jerry Seinfeld, right? And he appears uh, in Loser's Crown as well, which was a thrill yeah. to see Jerry again. And I've taken to yeah. calling my dog, I hope you don't mind, uh, Little Jerry Garcia, Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, Although my dog's name, my dog's name is Griffin, though, so it it really is a reach. <laughs> no, I, I, if, if he doesn't mind, then I think it's fine. I, yeah. Uh, so far, so and, good. And any, 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 wherever, wherever we can get a dead reference, there's, I think there's dead references <laughs> in both movies. So I'm, that, that's, we always encourage that. That's another area where the uh, character in, you know, both Losers Crown, where he plays a supposed rock journalist and then in it's right. us when he's an agent he's got an awful lot to say about music like right. very very sly asides that put other people <laughs> down just from the fact that they create a pandora li- i know exactly what you mean right. of course but yeah. you know um or little <laughs> towards the end of uh loser's crown when he says uh, i like kings of leon you know, there's a lot of things to enjoy. You know, that's all I'm saying is, you know, little, Thanks. little yeah. in, in the know kind of stuff, you know. Right. Um, even for, uh, although I have to say, maybe it's because I'm aged, but um, I didn't get all the references to the music stuff. Um, but that's. I probably didn't either. But that's so okay, I, right? That's I'm okay. Trying to sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's so another. Um, it's 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 a really literate relationship in a way because there's references. Well, I don't know if literate is the right word, but very influenced by pop culture, which is the way life is. So, for example, when this couple Andrew and uh, uh, oh, Andrew and Jess, played by yeah. Eliza Coop, who seems just wonderful, um, no, they no, get in the cab mm-hmm, to go to the airport mm-hmm. to go to Vermont. He says, I think it's then he said, oh, no, you made the graduate face. 
which right. I assumed, correct me if I'm wrong, was an allusion to the film The Graduate, where Catherine right. Ross and Dustin Hoffman look shell-shocked and slightly panicked at their impulsive yeah. decision to run away together. So it's that look of like, oh, oh no, what have we what? done? What? Yeah. So there's a lot of that, you know, a lot of those references mm -hmm. to to film, to music, to craft beers, you know. To, right. It's really, really enjoyable. So I'm going to, you know, push this film uh, to the point of being obnoxious in, in my own we circle. It's just a, it's a pleasure. Uh, like when I do discover a great memoir where somebody has risen above you know, the usual fare. I, I really want to, um, you know, kind of celebrate it all. I want to hear about the bum, the bummed out part of you, like bummed out along the way and bummed out now, if you're willing to share. Sure. No, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, bummed out along, bummed out before. I mean, I remember when I, I listened, the first time I listened to Annie Lennox's Why after when Diva came out, we had it on, probably to set tape or something. I was like, oh, you know, 92, so how old am I? I'm, I'm nine years old, and, like, I don't even know what the words mean, but I'm crying to it. Um, mm -hmm. So that's where, so that's where I'll start. <laughs> and it, it's, there's no, there probably, there's a self-pity thing in, in your 20s um, that I think everybody, that, that everybody experiences. Uh, like, things aren't happening, and, and <clears throat> I think I'm putting the work in, and I definitely care. <clears throat> I care. I'm, I, I have all this care that I have um, about things and what's gonna and what should happen, and uh, and it just doesn't. And then, then I think you start to cope with that a little bit better in your thirties. And then, have I, I lack an ability to uh, gloss over things or make the best of things. Like it's always like right now. Like we're talking, we like we made we made a movie. It's on iTunes, and it's. If you had told me that two years ago, and Eliza Coop's in the movie, and it's like that, there's and and on the outside things look great, but then when it's just in here and it's a very insular um, vacuum that you work in, like the, the the reality, like the reality. Okay, this is a okay. You want to know what's bumming out right now? Absolutely. And, and it sucks. It sucks that it's a that it's a monetary thing, but mm -hmm. I wrote and directed two features. Uh, I've been in LA for I don't know how long, but I've never I've never made a cent. I've made a cent off of a, in the uh, entertainment world. Uh, I that is do I believe that's going to change? I I I, I know it's going to change. It has to, mm -hmm. um, but it hasn't. And the, but I, I, it's going to change because MF line is still here. Um, but to exist in this town, I've done I've done you know everything you know short of turning tricks on a. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunset Boulevard or wherever, or deep in like North Hollywood, you can't do that on Sunset anymore. And I'm, and I'm scrapping around, and then you know, people. Then I talk to somebody like you, and I'm like, maybe I'm not that bad at this. Maybe this is. Maybe I should be here. So thanks for nothing. I was going to go get a job today, but no. Uh, <laughs> Everything's yeah. going exactly as planned. <laughs> but uh, you know, I did. I and I'm, I'm living at a, a, a friend of mine's house, and. I'm moving to a different friend. It's, it's awful. It's like I'm I'm a 32 yeah. year old. I'm I'm gonna be 33 soon. And, but this is what's good about it. When I listen to myself say it out, because I I feel it, but when I say it out loud, it's like, shut up. Um, but no, you know I think you know, you I go I go out and I and I, you know, and with this as these two movies as kind of calling cards for. I don't know. It's just about finding the paid work, whether it's writing for television, where whether it's doing a rewrite of somebody, or somebody wants me to write them a script. They have an idea. They have a you know a um, you know, and they want me to write the script. Sure, great. Um, and then just any sort of television acting stuff. It's very close, but uh, I wanted to for something about what you said made me think of a scene in It's Us. Um, okay. That's very, very funny, where it's in a sequence of scenes. Well, there's a sequence of scenes in the film when they've come to Vermont. It's sort of like a flashback on how dysfunctional this relationship is, um, mm. especially through the eyes of the neighbor who ultimately says to the wife, like, 
that really looks crazy. Like, I'm glad I'm alone, you know? (laughs) But what's so funny is this um, sequence where uh, Andrew, the husband, is coming home from his deadening job as an agent in L.A., and there are these mock suicidal threats. Um, (laughs) Like, I don't... Here's the one I really love. I don't even deserve to kill myself. That's how (laughs) bad it is. That's why I must. I mean, that's just like... (laughs) <laughs> that's a crowd pleaser. Is this a corny question, or can I ask you what filmmakers you like or admire? No, it's not not a corny question. Uh, I like I like Mila Bombach. Oh yeah. I like um, Alexander Payne. Mm-hmm. I like um, obviously I like Woody. And uh, I like um, <clears throat> I like Nicole Hoffman. No one can I, say I, her name. Yeah, that okay, one. Yeah, yeah. I know. Ho- uh, she, I love. I love it. Mm-hmm. Hoffman. Hoffman. <laughs> Hoffman. Um, I love her. I think you know. I think. Uh, <laughs> I want. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, I want to see more films by you, so that I I do look forward to the next effort, whatever it's going to be. So I'll follow yes. your Facebook page. Do you have any, um, you know, t- teasers, you know, carrots you can dangle of what you're working on? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I- uh, finished. I mean, the script is the script's never done until you're. It's never done until the, you wrap shooting, pretty much. But uh, finished another script, and which we would like to shoot <clears throat> early fall. I'm trying to drum up, uh, drum up money for. And this one is just a. It's just a bigger kind of broader um, idea and scope, and you know, and like, and just ensemble there's more there's more players and, and there's um there's a high school musical uh element and so i want to get this one is um hopefully if ever if all goes right it will be uh definitely unlike anything we've done but wow. hopefully wow so colin who is the producer of of your movies well the first one was just my knucklehead buddy and i and then this this guy we we quickly fell into a uh, we quickly fell in love. John Dashatsky saw Loser's Crown and had read some some silly things that I had written, and he wanted me to make another movie. So he you know he said he would uh, finance the madness. Um, and you know it's with a guy like John, it was uh, I was pretty pretty darn lucky because he was just here's a chunk of change and just do what you do and he didn't want he didn't want to get in the way or have any say kind of creatively which is a beautiful thing when you're trying to when you're trying to do this so um so i i i love him forever and always do you think you might get a chance to work with him again yeah i want to work with him forever and he just because we're you know especially with producing this one we were both we're both kind of learning uh on the fly and um you know and, and I, he's got a, he's got a great uh there's a there's a yin and yang type thing uh because he's got a great kind of business business brain um and i don't uh <laughs> bank of america can tell you that um <laughs> but but um yeah no i, I think we, we I'll, I'll always bounce things off him and However, you know, he wants to, yeah, we'll work together. We always will. I love oh, it. Um, that's so. great. This was great. Thank you so much. Cool, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep track of each other. Let's, let's keep in touch. Okay, take care. Right. Bye-bye.